Thanks to Stu for those earlier races. An opportunity for me to congratulate him on his Grade 1 win yesterday. I can't believe he's never had one before, though. I'm sure he must have done. Anyway, I'm going to kick off with the 3 mile 5 foot on Grade 3 Whitbread Gold Cup. 3 mile 5 foot on Handicap Chase. One of my favourite races of the season. At the top, the Uncle Joshua Sutherland, Alfred Pear and Darren Thompson. Artistic Zeal, Leon Van Rensburg, Miliana Sharag, David Robertson, Condone Eternal, Padre Hogan, Bucco, and Finding Alice for Martin Dillon, Catastrophe Rider, Thomas Rogers, Warm Light, David Hooley, Reverizano, Bell, Padre Hogan, Watchtower, Graham Clutterbuck, Charlie Celeste, David Robertson, Brockwell Park, John Morgan, Gunport Defence, Stu Gray, Paul Satilla, Alex Cherry, Lake Seed, Meath, Stu Gray, Gaia Gray, John Morgan, Foxbridge for Derek Hinton, and Wizards Dust for Matt Cooper. They're called in, they're already racing two seasons ago as well. Bucko is back in the field trying to reclaim the Whitbread Gold Cup. They're winning it two seasons ago. They raced to the first of the 24 and they're all safely over it. And I'm pleased to say everything's running in the right silks. Hoorah! They make their way towards the second of the 24 fences. And it looks like we've got the modded course that's got the double fence. They take a ditch. This time round, they'll take it as a plain one. Later on, Brockwell Park, there was a faller there, so Brockwell Park's gone. The video is a little bit hazy, but it's Wizard's Dust who's in the lead. The picture is very fuzzy, to be honest. Uh, reminds us of a situation where we had a horse called Doug's Fuzzy Screen a few years ago because the picture was so fuzzy, so it seems. <laughs> These days, there's always something for me to moan about. I'm turning into Stu. He used to moan all the time. I think I'm fast becoming a bigger moaner than Stu. We've got the right silks, but we've got a lot of blurry, blurry horses at the moment. And it's Wizard's Dust who is in the lead from Foxbridge in second. I think Varizano Bell is just about third. Pulls a tiller. He's close up. Gunpoint defence as well. Then Gaia Gray, the great John Morgan horse, and that is John Morgan as well, not me, and then the uncles after that one, Watchtower is next Lack and Donor Eternal after that one as they finally get to the third which they all stream over the back marker Lakeside Meath just skidded a bit on landing but is still in partnership with the jockey and Wizards just continues to lead racing downhill to the fourth of the 24, the leader got into close to that and he's gone, he hits it really hard on the Jockey exited the side door a couple of strides after the fence and wasn't able to stay on board as they get over the next one of that quick double. It's there all safely over this time and coming into this ditch. It's now Foxbridge who's got the lead. So Foxbridge leads the Whitbread field then from Gaia Gray in second and Gunpoint Defence in third. Then Pulsatilla. As we get down to the water jump, this is definitely the proper sand down course. The, the sand down course in the game is completely wrong down this back stretch. We should be going towards the railway fences shortly. And Fox Bridge is going to lead from Gunpoint Defence in second as they get over that one. That's a plain fence that leads them down towards the railways. And we'll take next. And they get over the first one pretty sharpish. safely over the second in fact that was the third those railway fences on this course are a little bit further apart than they should be but it's better than it was and Foxbridge is the leader from gunpoint defence in second they'll be coming down to the pond fence next and then there'll be the two in the straight where they'll take the ditch again on the, on the double fence and they'll take this pond fence first and Foxbridge continues to lead. Gunpoint defence in second. As they get over the pond. And safely over it they go. That's why it's called the pond fence, because there's the pond. Probably should be a little bit closer to the pond, to be honest. But anyway, we <laughs> get around the next. We've got a couple in the straight. Now, this is a plain fence this time. They get over it. And there's something down there. It's Charlie Celeste that's gone. So Charlie Celeste has gone. Now, they should take the ditch side of this this time I don't know whether they're going to or not looks like they might, yeah they are they take the ditch side of it next time round when it's the last fence they take the plain one so they're all safely over that one and Foxbridge is in the lead then as they race up the hill then they're up towards the winning post and they'll go out for a complete circuit of the track and Foxbridge 
Here's the leader with all these multiple winning posts, haven't we? Goodness knows which one's the right one when we get to the end. Will be quite interesting for me. Commentate it on this. It's Fox Bridge in the lead. Watch Tower second. Guy, Guy Gray is third. Then the Uncle and Lacandona Eternal. Let's hope something's about four lengths clear and then we won't be too concerned. But it's Fox Bridge who continues to lead for Derek Hinton in this farcical end to the season that we're having, really, with all these things that are slipping up and going wrong but it's Foxbridge in the lead the uncle second Gaia Gray's third then Artistic Zeal and Watchtower Warm Lights after that one then Verrazano Bell and uh, Finding Alice getting the first mention the grey and the red rum silks a couple of seasons ago is when a bucko in the purple and white stripes is widest on the track as they get over the next which all the remaining runners are over Alfred Pound one of the top weights is out the back the total top weight the uncle has now just moved into the lead as they head out on their final circuit of the back straight, they get over that one all safe and every field beginning to bunch. Now it's the uncle in front from Foxbridge and Verrazano Bell as they take the next They're all safely over the first part of that double. The second part is a ditch. They get over that one. And they're all safely over that as well. With the uncle in the lead, Verrazano Bell second, Gunpoint Defence third, then Foxbridge. Easy in fourth, then comes Warm Light and Gaia Grey with Watchtower and Finding Alice and then Bucko as they take the water. Which again, they all take nicely. And down towards the railway fences now then. Here's the first of them. Ah, there's a faller there. It's Verrazano Bell that's gone. So Verrazano Bell is out for Patrick Hogan as they come to the second of the railways they all get over that one with the exception of watchtower watchtower's gone this time and then over the third and final railway they're all over it and finding alice has come through to take the lead so finding alice bursts into the lead then from the uncle in second gunpoint defense is third bucko is fourth then comes warm light lacandona eternal is after that one and then comes gaia gray and artistic zeal as they head towards the third last fence which is the pond fence and finding alice has suddenly burst four or five lengths clear warm lights the one that's in the hot pursuit in second two years ago's winners bucko is now third then comes the uncle and gunpoint defense shortly between these with emiliana shareg is trying to run on Finding Alice over the pond in the lead, second in last year's Cheltenham Gold Cup. Finding Alice is clear by five lengths to Warm Light in second, and then Gunpoint Defence. Bucko is running on, trying to make it a second win at the second last, and Finding Alice lands in front. Bucko lands in second. It's Finding Alice in the lead. Bucko is in second. Then comes Gunpoint Defence, Warm Light, and the Uncle down towards the final fence in the Whitbread. Then, and it's Finding Alice from Stablemate Bucko, who's beginning to close. Can Bucko reclaim the crown, or will Finding Alice hang on over the final fence? They go and they've virtually run through it, but it's Finding Alice who looks stronger. Bucko is trying to close us, still half a furlong to go. It's Finding Alice in the lead. Bucko is getting closer. Which winning post is it going to be? I don't care. I'm going to turn into Stu Gray and celebrate my own win. I don't mind which winning post it is. It's either Finding Alice or Bucko that winner, depending which one it was. <laughs> and Catastrophe Rider was the last one to finish. But it's a race that I like to win. Oh, that's my third winning that now. And it's Finding Alice that takes it. Bucko second, so a one, two, four, me, and a third for Stu. So the commentators rule. What do you say to that? Finding Alice the winner for Martin Leedham. Bucko for Martin Leedham again second. Gunpoint defence for Stu Gray third. The uncle for Joshua Sutherland fourth. And Warm Light for David Hoody was fifth. And that makes the season for me.